Are you wondering how much does a meal cost in Sofia, Bulgaria? How cheap are the food and drinks? And why do they say that even backpackers like myself can afford a bit of luxury? In this video, I will show you how cheap is exactly Sofia. Hi Curious Gang, it's your London friend Vasi. But today, today we are actually not in London. We are in the city of Sofia, Bulgaria. And you might wonder where is this? It's actually in Eastern Europe, right here, bordering with Greece, Turkey and Romania. And as you can imagine, Eastern Europe is very cheap and Sofia itself, it's one of the cheapest cities to live in Europe. You might not know this, but this is my home city. I was born in here and I used to live in the city until I was like 19 years old and after that I moved to study in Milan and then to work in London. But just tip for me if you decide to come in winter be very very prepared and well dressed because it is freaking freezing it is snowing at the moment let me show you and by the way guys this is actually the synagogue in Sofia and it is the third largest in Europe which I think it's pretty interesting and here I am, all packed and ready to go out and look for some coffee. Here we have like Roman ruins, literally like in the middle of the metro because they started building a new line of the metro and then they found out like a whole Roman city. And by the way, guys, this is the very, very city center of Sofia. But after that, I'm also going to show you my old neighborhood, which I'm like both very happy and anxious about at the same time. So yeah, stay tuned for all these emotions. And the first thing which I always do when I wake up is get some coffee. So this is what we're doing also today. And then I'm also meeting with a friend of mine for brunch here i got my coffee and actually here in bulgaria we have like quite a lot like of this type of corner shops from where you can get like coffee like sweets drinks and anything and this costed only 80 stutinki which is like our currency and this is like less than uh, like i would say 35p or something and it's still pretty good coffee At the moment we are super super centrally in London, up here in London, super centrally in Sofia. We have like this street which is called Vitusha, which is like the main street where you can have where you can find like lots of cafes, bars, restaurants, and it's kind of like the melting spot where you would usually meet your friends and this is also very close by to where I'm meeting my friend from brunch for brunch as well. Now coming back I have to say I'm like quite impressed of how many like old buildings there are that are almost like going in winds and right next to them you will have like something super fancy and shiny. I think like Sofia it's such a city of contrasts. Like I don't know if you can realize it but also the place over there it's like literally empty it doesn't even have windows. Okay, it's quite funny. I told you it's like usually full of people, but today it's not the best example. First of all, because it's like Monday and it's uh, like 11 a.m. So of course, most of the people were working. And also like in winter, I feel like more people stay at home instead of going out. But I swear in summer, it's amazing. And these are all the restaurants and cafes I was telling you about. It's like such a big thing that you go for a coffee and you stay there literally for hours. So what you just saw, it's also quite typical, like we have a lot of street food and like pizza that you sell per slice, it's also super super typical and it costs usually between like 2 and 250 left, so it will be around 1 pound. I wouldn't say it's typical Italian pizza, but it does the job and it's pretty delicious as well. Okay, 
Okay, so I have almost arrived at the brunch spot where I'm meeting with my friend and this is my total favorite brunch spot here in Sofia. I wouldn't say it's like typical Bulgarian food, like not at all, but it's very delicious and also portions are quite generous and as you can imagine, like uh, it's also pretty budget friendly, especially if you're coming from Western Europe. Also featured in my previous video, which I made from Sofia, which is great, which I guess it's not a great content for you, but I just love it, love it, love it. It and I have to go back. So we got this cake with dulce de leche and yes you can also see my friend in there and this cake was like five left but I don't think it was the best thing that you can get in there and I also got this eggs benedict which are like two eggs with smoked salmon like this uh, cream cheese and also a side salad and all this was 12 left so around five quid I mean come on if that's not a great deal then I don't know what and then I took the underground to go to my old neighborhood and the ticket is like less than one pound which is just mind-blowing the trains are not very often and it's also like a little bit slow but you know it does the job my parents moved from Sofia basically when I moved to uni and at the, and since then I haven't really been to the to my old neighborhood and now I just arrived in here and like there's so many emotions and coming and memories coming in through my head I feel like I'm pretty much almost about to start crying but anyways I think this is a good occasion for me to show you how does like more of a typical neighborhood in Sofia looks like and uh, what is kind of like the real life in here because these neighborhoods look also very different from the city center itself and I don't know why but many times when I speak to people they think that I come from like very rich family which is definitely not the case so I think now it's a good time for me to show you where they actually grew up Oh my god, I don't know if I'm ready for that, but let's go! And this is it! This is literally where we used to live and, and if you look around like you will see that these are actually, this is actually a pretty like regular building. And this is it guys, this is literally where I spent like 20 years of my life. I wanted to tell you something which I find like super particular of Bulgaria is that you can basically paint your own like floor of the building whatever color you like and you can like completely change the facade of uh, your own apartment and you have many buildings where like one floor could be uh, white the next could be yellow and like from the outside it could look completely wrong and like not pleasing at all but it would still be okay And then I went for some coffee in my old neighborhood and you guys, you cannot believe this. So we got two cups of tea and one coffee and all this costs only three left. So it's like less than one single coffee at Pret. It's insane. Hi guys, today is actually another day and it's not the best day for me because I actually went to the dentist and like they fixed one of my teeth in here and I have still anesthesia and I cannot feel like this part of my mouth and also including part of my nose so it's a little bit weird and I got like this soup, I ate this pumpkin soup and this is like super affordable meal, it's kind of street food but also you can find a lot of healthier options basically this bread and this much soup can you guess how much it is it's only three level which means it's like one pound fifty and it's a solid meal so i'm really happy with that oh it's very interesting and it's also quite spicy and very creamy and by the way like this is how the couches look aren't they like super cute and 
and then it was time for some snack and I went again with a friend of mine in this place called The Little Things. And this place feels like so so homey, like also the chairs and the atmosphere, it kind of feels like I'm in my grandma's house if she was, I don't know, rich or something and she had a house here in the city center. I got a cappuccino with soy milk, which actually costed 5 lev, it's quite a lot, but soy milk in here costs quite a lot because pretty much no one drinks it. And for a snack we got like this uh, hummus with bell peppers with like lots of nuts on top and also some arab pita and of course a side salad, I don't know if you noticed this but everything in here comes with a side salad and all this was again around 12 lev. It's like super spicy and feel like awful with cumin. Ow. I was off to a short walk and after that met with another friend of mine for cocktails and dinner but oh my god you guys look how cool this looks! And the place that we went to, it's actually more expensive than the average one, so the cocktails were ranging in between like 13 to 15 lev, and this main lasagna that I got with truffle was 16 lev, which again is like more expensive than usual, but totally worth it and filling. It's definitely not a portion only for one person. So in total today I spent 33 pounds or 44 dollars for 3 coffees, cake, eggs benedict with salmon, pumpkin soup, tea, some hummus with pita, 2 cocktails, truffle lasagna, oh and not for forget, 1 ticket for the underground. And what do you guys think now? Do you think that Sofia is cheap? And if you want to see more cool travel related videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. Love you all! Bye!